Hey everybody, I'm Greg Sussman alongside Drew Dinkmeyer of DailyRoto.com to break down tonight's two-game NBA slate and give you the top plays and the guys you need to target for value over on FanDuel. Drew, we begin with the top plays on the board. And I don't know that there's ever been a more obvious night for top plays that we've ever done here in the hurry up. So let's begin with your top play, which of all the stars, it's James Harden. Yeah, this is an interesting decision for this slate because I think it really comes down to you want exposure on Houston for either Chris Paul or James Harden and for Golden State with either Kevin Durant or Stephen Curry uh, as your top spends. And so you want to build lineups where you probably have at least one of them. Do you think that Utah can keep the defensive momentum they built in games three and four um, in terms of being able to slow Harden down? If so, you probably lean on Chris Paul. I think Harden will be able to solve this defense like he solved pretty much every defense he's ever faced. And the opportunity set for James Harden is so strong with the price tag back down below 12,000 that I'm leaning towards him uh, as your top spend. He has our top overall projection on this slate, uh, looking up over 60 FanDuel points in terms of projection. Uh, just an incredible player, an incredible fantasy asset. And I think the shooting slump corrects tonight. James Harden getting that shooting stroke back is the key to Houston winning and moving on. You know they're ready to face Golden State. We'll see if they can get through tonight. Speaking of Golden State, of course, two of their stars are also top plays tonight. Let's start with Kevin Durant, who's gotten much, much hotter as this series has gone on. Why do you like Durant better than Curry tonight? It's mostly due to positions as opposed to anything with projection. I think I feel a little bit better about the point guards in the mid-tier than I do the small forwards in terms of their ability to contribute ceiling level games. So as a result, like Kevin Durant, a little bit more than spending on Stephen Curry because of the overall roster builds. We have the two projecting fairly tightly. The big difference between the two so far in the series is Kevin Durant has largely stayed out of foul trouble. Um, and as a result, he's been on the floor a little bit more than Stephen Curry. And his usage rate has really picked up the last few games. There was a lull late in the season where Kevin Durant's usage had kind of fallen down. It's picked back up. It looks like he's kind of solved the defense of all these smaller defenders on him um, and how to take advantage of that. So slight preference for Kevin Durant tonight. But I think you need one of Kevin Durant or Steph Curry, just like you need one of James Harden or Chris Paul in your lineups. Needing to get one star on each team. Drew recommends Harden and Durant. And that's probably what you should go with. But if you don't like Durant for some reason and you want to go with Steph Curry, the reasons are obvious, but how can you like Curry more than, let's say, Chris Paul? Yeah, I think Curry is a slightly better play than Chris Paul because of the minutes upside and the overall game environment. Even when Chris Paul has seen his minutes extended in this series, it's been more like 33, 32. Steph Curry's gone up to 36, and some of those games were blowouts where he had a chance and he was on pace to play 38, 39. You add in the fact that there's just going to be many more possessions in the Clippers Golden State game because they played a much faster pace than Houston and Utah, two teams that play more bottom uh, of the barrel and pace. I think it makes sense that you would invest in Curry over Chris Paul. I also think there's the added benefit of Chris Paul is just coming off of one of these great games, and a lot of times in the playoffs, ownership in tournaments gravitates towards the players who just did really well. So I think you'll probably get Stephen Curry at lower ownership as well than Chris Paul in tournaments. All right, going with Steph Curry tonight for the Warriors over Chris Paul. There you have it from Drew Dickmeyer. All right, let's move on to the value plays tonight. And we spoke about this before you began, Drew, but Andrew Bogut is your favorite value on the board tonight. How come? There's a couple reasons. One, I, I like Bogut in terms of the projection and the matchup, and, and I can talk through that really quickly. The Clippers ranked 29th in defensive efficiency against opposing centers uh, during the regular season, and so far in this series, on a per-game basis, the rebounding differential for Golden State has been plus 10. They've just been killing the Clippers on the boards uh, all series long. Now, the other reason that I like Andrew Bogut is the center position is, is a really thin one to choose from, and we've seen both Clint Capella and Rudy Gobert not get those upper echelon minutes that allow them to compete with some of the guards in, that you want to spend on. So I think there's a couple reasons for Bogut. He's a good play in his own right, but I think roster construction also makes a bit more sense to target a little bit more value at center, and really he's the, the last man standing for that. Bogut's the last man standing, which means he's the last guy that can get you fantasy points at that position. Consider Andrew Bogut a solid value play on tonight's two-game slate. Let's move on to another value play, and we'll get to Utah's Jay Crowder. Why do you think Crowder can help fantasy owners tonight? I think we saw it last game. The last two games, it seems like Utah has figured out that they're just not going to play Derek Favors and Rudy Gobert together. And as a result, that's opened up a lot more minutes, you know, five to six more minutes per game for all of their wing players. That's mostly been filled by Jay Crowder, Royce O'Neal, a little bit of uh, Georges Niang, 
But I think Crowder is the guy who's most suited to fill those as kind of the stretch four in the offense. He got off to such a hot start in the first half last game, carried to one of his best performances all season long, let alone in the playoffs. The price tag didn't really move. Small forward is a pretty difficult position to fill. He's only 4,700 over there. I think he's one of the better value plays at the small forward position. All right, Jay Crowder at the small forward spot, giving you more production over the last couple of games for Utah and for fantasy owners. He's cheaply priced tonight, so consider putting him in there. We mentioned before, Steph Curry, one of the guys you consider a point guard, certainly Chris Paul as well. But if you go with the combination of Kevin Durant and James Harden, you need a cheaper point guard. Who made that point guard be? I think you've got both options on the Clippers to look at, both Patrick Beverly and Shai Gilgis Alexander. I like Beverly a little bit more. I think he's got a little bit more block steals upside. He's a little bit more of a volatile player, so there's a little bit more downside to Beverly because he can get into foul trouble, and he's had that assignment on Kevin Durant during the series. But when he's out there and he played 36 minutes last game, he's shown a higher minute ceiling than Shai Gilgis Alexander. He does kind of all those secondary stats. He's a better rebounder than Gilgis Alexander right now uh, in terms of statistically. So Beverly is priced similarly. We think he's a little bit of a better play, but both of those Clippers guards are kind of the value guards to target. You're not going up for Steph Curry or Chris Paul. If you don't want to spend up, Patrick Beverly does a little bit of everything. He doesn't just score. He helps you on the defensive side, too. And we know how important those defensive statistics are on FanDuel. So consider Beverly as a cheaper point guard option. That's going to do it for us here tonight on the FanDuel Hurry Up. Should be a fun evening of basketball with two game, two elimination games on the slate. Drew, we appreciate the time and good luck tonight. Thanks so much. Good luck to you as well, Greg. I appreciate it, Drew. Have a great night. Good luck. We'll see you back here tomorrow with Jim Sonis to talk about the Thursday baseball slate.